They were practice, simple, even they are tools. To spray the rocks, <coughs> they were using simple tools, like chisels, brown chisels, hangers, and then they were searching one side of the huge rock of the quarry that we located now. They were planning to cut this rock in this big side for And they were digging one mm -hmm. hole, two, three, four, five, seven, the pennies around it. In each hole, they were inserting the wooden stick. No? Uh -huh. Like a nail. Right. And then water. A lot of water. Oh, so Ooh, the stick it's separated. Was, uh, water and then waiting for the sunshine. Uh huh. When the sun heating and the wet wood expanding, the white granite rock hot, splitting itself. Wow. So huh. they were getting the help of the nature. You know? Simple. One example. The hole in it and just stick a stick yeah. in it. You see? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's splitting. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of. The other pass, a little piece, like that. So, it works. It, it was work. Depending oh. how big they wanted to split the rock. Uh -huh. <laughs> this mean. place is the quarry. And also, it's another point that this Machu Picchu is not complete. It's not finished. Mm -hmm. It works. That's why, when the archaeologists and anthropologists are talking about Machu Picchu, they can't explain what it was exactly because they said how do you know it if Machu Picchu wasn't finished no? mm -hmm. it's like you're building your house you're planning to build your living room your bedroom so some people take this idea but the evidence on the other side is telling us this evidence is and telling another so would some of these rocks be ready to do something with that they aren't or they put there? It was one natural erosion more than two million years ago. But oh so they were already here? Yes. So they found probably a good place to split the rocks and they chose this place to be open. Mm. And also Machu Picchu now it's located at the edge of the highlands and jungle. Where the worst enemies of the Incas people living well, the wild people didn't want to be under the Inca's power, but these Inca's people rebuilt Machu Picchu, like a song one for the Catholic people building the cathedral in Cusco to push them to the Catholic religion, right? But these Inca people were building Machu Picchu to show them that the Incas were superior mm -hmm. because they were building Machu Picchu, getting a better technology than they, better knowledge than they, and also to control them. That's why when the archaeologists found skeletons, according to Hiram Bingham's you know, expeditions, more than 180 skeletons were found in Machu Picchu. The picture is showing us you know, on the website, National Geographic, where at the beginning, the people were explaining that 80% of them were females. Mm -hmm. But today, new evidence, John Verano, osteology forensic, yeah. he found, he was really studying the bones, he found 50% women, 50% not men. But they were older. No too much young people, mm -hmm. they were older. What they did? They found some, like a, some scars in the bones. They were like that, sleeping, lay, they were lying down. It's not a tomb, it's not a cemetery. Oh. Someone have to kill them. Probably when the Incas people had the civil war, the men left this place to help or to be safe. The wars and the of the Incas were climbing up here and they were marked. Hmm. Before, no, people knew this place. That's why this place was abandoned. Another point is, probably with malaria or chickenpox, this place was found. No, was infected. People were dying. The people that mm -hmm. were well, they have to go away, <coughs> taking mm -hmm. all the treasure and artifacts. That's why, no, archaeologists and anthropologists, they, well, they couldn't find any silver or gold stuff. Yeah. No. 
to explanations that they are working well, hmm. but we don't know we don't how to fight. <laughs>